Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. Got another shave of the day and today we're using Sterling's Tangerine. If you like tangerines, this is the scent for you. I'm already got halfway through this tub. It's like, yeah. I use it a lot off, off camera because I really like the scent. The orange lemon scents that you usually get with a lot of Sterling stuff. like it. All right, so we're going to be using Astro Blade's first use with the Star Razor, Star of the Show. And then we'll follow up with a little bit of Sterling Citron Glacial. Yep, it's warm outside. Yeah, we've had our 100 and something degree, 110 heating, heat index days already. 100 degree temperatures with... 60, 70, 80% humidity. Yeah. Life sucks. Go outside and sweat. I mean, sweat and sweat and sweat. And nothing hardly ever evaporates. Alright. Haven't said it in a while, but Barbasol. Makes a great uh, pre shave stuff that I put on the face. Yep. Mmm, smell of tangerine in the morning. Makes me happy. Alright, so how's everybody day going? I don't mind. It's like summer is officially here. And the change we've had some pretty nasty weather in the last week. Heat, hail, storms. You name it, it's it. But we drive on. Now, the big thing is like we even had a uh, the power went out, brownouts. You know, they said be prepared for brownouts uh, this summer due to uh, fuel costs and downsizing the amount of stuff and blah blah blah. You know. Um, yeah, we spent like three hours without power the other day. It's like about 100 degree temperatures and no the heat goes off or the electricity goes out. Like, oh boy. Just lucky that the ambient temperature in the house was, it got warm in the house, but not. 100 degrees warm, you know, it's like it went, we keep our temp in the house at 74. And wintertime it's 68, summertime it's 74. And here the air conditioning's running now. And then we lose power, like, oh, ooh. It was like everything goes, it was like barely there, electricity burning out. Because the grid is overloaded and it shuts off. I just happened to be on the computer at the time. I was like, son of a... Yeah, I wasn't too happy. Yeah, the Star Razor and this uh, Astro Blaze work really good together. They're like Taze and Kurt. Now the other thing is that now that summer here, I got a lot more stuff going on. First time in three years, my wife is home for. She's been normally teaches summer school or whatever goes on. This is the first time in three years she isn't teaching summer school. Oh, she's around the house, and now it's like, well, you need to go do this. You need to go do that. You need to go. Like, this is summertime. You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> like, oh. Do you need to make those Shea videos? You're wasting a lot of time doing that. It's like, all right. 
So there may be a decrease in the number of videos coming out a week during the summer just to appease her. Happy wife makes happy life. I guess that's the same goes. Like, yeah, I know you don't have any hobbies, dear, but I do. Like, I do stuff that makes me happy. Oh, who knows? I'll try to sneak in, sneak them in as much as possible. So, I do know it's like coming up lots, let's see. Well, it's less than two months away. It's the Iowa State Fair. That's where 10 days I'm outside in the heat and 10 straight days. So, like last year, I tried to preload a bunch of videos for you. I didn't have to miss a step. Just means take an extra day or two and add in some videos because I know I'm going to be gone. It's like, I'm not gone, I'm here, but hey, it's like you're not hearing anything. I like this for you, but with her home, I don't know if I'll be able to or not. Then again, I could do them in the evening. I'll try to figure something out for you guys so you're not left hanging. Hmm. Aromatherapy with tangerines today. Speaking of tangerines, I like eating them, but I don't know where they're getting them from because I've been ordering, you know, it's not ordering, but go to the store and pick them up. And they're not really good tasting at all. I've kind of given up on them. And the cost of them is like 10 bucks for a bag of tangerines, which used to be $3. Now it's $10. So, going to figure out where to cut. I mean, we were going over our expense account today, this morning, before I came in here. And it's like looking how much income comes into the household per month, and then looking at what's going out. There's more going out than there is coming in. All because of inflation. So we got to start figuring out where to cut expenses. I know that I won't be ordering any soaps or anything anytime soon. Just because of that. It's like, it's like you look at the accounts and like, oh, I, mean, I can save a little bit here, save a little there to buy something. And, and now I'm like looking at it and going, because my wife does the books and you know, she's a math person and so she has it all laid out and where everything's going out and it's like it's like two years ago we were spending 60 70 dollars um, a week on groceries at the current amount of stuff that just normally it's 120 130 dollars now that's how much food has gone up it's like five dollars for a dozen eggs like it's like okay uh, definitely not eating ten dollars for a thing of bacon so definitely not eating eggs and bacon because you can't afford it it's like you're talking fifteen dollars just to buy this stuff ridiculous so Like a lot of luxury items that it's like you just got to go through and figure out what to keep and what to send to the wayside because you're not getting any. My wife got for her job, she got her first 
the pay raise in three years this year, which won't go into effect until this fall, but that's already eaten up and gone. It's like we're still falling behind. And, you know, we bought a new car because we had to. It's uh, last March, and that payment going out is kind of like eating things up, too. I imagine everybody, all of you, are facing the same thing. Like, what's... can be cut, downsized, out of the budget. My wife, she likes to drink her soda. She's a Mountain Dew person. It's like $12 for a, 8 to 12 bucks for a six pack. Yeah. I'm sorry, dear, but that's got to go. Save it where you got it. Because the cost of sugar must have gone up. I uh, just listened to the radio this morning while I was eating my breakfast. and Like, we got Casey's, which is a Midwestern uh, convenience gas station. Go in and get stuff. And they make some of the best pizza you can eat. Just tasty. And they say and everything is going up a buck a slice. Like, wow. That is pretty nasty. And yeah, it's all knock on expenditures because everything is a symbiotic relationship when it comes to everything it's like gas now is over five bucks a gallon which means not traveling anywhere it's like I'm supposed to go this weekend it's this saturday to my uh niece's graduation party which across the state it's like you look at it that's 175 miles just to go there I live in the middle of the state, that's 175 miles just to get to the other side of the state where they live. And you're getting roughly, I'd say 30 miles a gallon. That's a lot of money, just f for fuel. Oh, yes. Uh, my one friend who lives two counties away, we usually get together every weekend to go play games, and he's like, I can't afford to go anywhere. And I'm like, we're in the same boat, everybody. Can't really afford a, a frivolous trip across the state. <laughs> my, uh, brother and sister-in-law they own a mobile home tra travel home I think that's not a mobile home travel home and they were supposed to come over in a couple of weekends for a family gathering over here and they were going to take that over and it's like oh well, it's going to cost us about 500 bucks just to fill it up I'm like you yeah. makes sense not to use it it's like And my daughter, she went down to Texas last week, and her flight got, she was, her return flight got canceled because there was not enough people to be on it to make it economical enough to fly it. I said, sorry, flight's been canceled due to lack of passengers. So she had to wait down there until she could get a different flight. Sitting in the airport. 
eventually she got rerouted and he made it back home but she was supposed to come home at 6 p.m. that night and she didn't get home until like 2 a.m. when I had to go pick her up you like this sucks I like, yeah. We're done. Real smooth. Smells right there. One. There we go. Ah. Nice smooth shave. That's one nice thing about that Star Razor and Astro Blades work really good together. I you gotta go through them. Off camera, I use Astro Blades all the time. When I get the, could change when I start looking at the, uh, how do you call it, those London bridges, but get more use of those. Come out of there. There you go. Citron. Ah, it smells good. Glacial Citron. Mm. Smells like I'm just wallowing in a nice fresh lemon that's come right out of the freezer. Oh, that's lovely. Like, man, I love that scent. Mmm. Aromatherapy in the morning. Alright. Shave of the day was brought to you by Sterling's Tangerine. The tub's about half empty now. I need to Eventually, when it comes on sale, well, here I'm talking about not buying stuff, and here I'm talking about buying stuff. Mm. Star Razor with Astro Blades. Excellent shave with those two. Man, that's like great combination. Love it. All right, so that's the shave of the day, everybody. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe, share with your friend, and we'll see you next one. Rusty out.